Good morning and welcome to the third episode of this bikini prep series. It is currently December 26, 2016. I hope you all had a fabulous Christmas, fabulous holiday with all of your family. Don't forget, I do have my December giveaway still going on, so you can still enter that through the 31st. Now in this prep series, I will be doing informative videos and vlogs. So the first two videos were informative videos, this one is a vlog. The next one I will be doing is another informative video all about supplements. It's important that throughout this prep series, I educate and provide information as much as possible while also documenting my journey, which I know that you guys like to see. A lot of you said that my previous prep series have inspired you or motivated you and that is what inspires me to keep going. One of the best things someone ever said to me was, you being you inspires me to be me. So that is my goal to keep that going. I Right now it's 8.44 in the morning and I'm actually about to go meet up with a friend. So over Christmas I didn't go see my family, I was still here, and I decided I wanted to volunteer. I went online, I searched multiple different websites, basically it was incredibly hard to get involved and volunteer and it was just frustrating for me that I really wanted to help and I couldn't seem to get plugged in anywhere. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna do it myself. And I actually was talking to a friend about this and she felt the same way and she was like, I totally want to help, like let's do this. So we both went together to Target and we got a bunch of little supplies and we decided to go hand them out. Yesterday she went with her family so like I said, it's the day after Christmas and we're actually gonna go right now and go hand those out. I think it's just awesome. So my point with sharing this with you guys is I know it inspires me when I see others giving back and it's inspired me to take action and go and do something myself. So my goal of sharing it is I do have a social media platform and I think it's important to help create change whenever I can. So for anyone at all that that sees this, watches this, and then decides to go and take action, that is worth me documenting it. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I hope it inspires you to take action in your own community because I truly believe that we're stronger as a community. So I will see you guys after we go and do that and we will get going on this prep day number, what day is this? I do not know. We're roughly about 19 weeks out so we'll get started on the day as soon as I get back. Oh, also Thor and Conan bagged up a bunch of their food and said to give this to doggies in need. They even decorated it. Okay, maybe they had some help from mom, but they told me they wanted to help give back too. So I just wanted to show you guys, we literally just went and got like water, trail mix, a little bar, some socks, chapstick, peppermint, little Hershey's Kisses, and then we got these stickers and like decorated the bags all nice and cute. So if you're wanting to help, there is always a way. Make it happen. And this is Lindsay who's helping me. <laughs> Super random grocery trip. We have jalapenos, blackberries, salsa, egg whites, some taco meat, water, and chicken. Do you smell the puppies? They said, thank you, Thor. Thank you, Conian. They're very appreciative of your food. Your generous donation, Conian. All right, so we are back, and honestly, it was kind of sad how quickly we ran out of supplies, but it just goes to show how many people are homeless and in need, and we met a few cute dogs, too, so we were able to give them some dog food. Thor and Conan made Mommy so proud for giving back. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really sharing that because there's a lot that I do that never goes on social media to give back, and I never post pictures of it, things like that, but I do think it's important here and there to share that on social media because I hope that it'll inspire you guys to take action in your own community. And if you do and decide to post a picture, hashtag it stronger as a community, I want people to kind of get this movement that we're creating where we really are stronger together, that together we can create a change. So that was this morning. Right now I have a lot of business things to do. I have a entire new brand new website launching the first to second week in January. Emily TV is kind of relaunching a new program, a lot of different things within the app uh, about the second week of January as well. So like I said, I'm kind of re revamping and rebranding a lot of things and I'm really excited to share that with you guys, but there's a lot of work to be done before that happens. So it's grind time times like a thousand before the second week of January just to get it up and running and then from there the maintenance of it all. So today I'm training legs and I have about 20 minutes of steady state cardio. For my steady state cardio, I usually get my heart rate up to 165. Uh, 170 on the very highest portion of it, but definitely in the 160s That's a really good pace where I'm breathing hard, but I'm still able to carry on a conversation But I actually love steady-state cardio. I've said this before it just clears my mind So I'm excited for today's training session. I won't be recording it I can only record on certain days at Gold's Gym So on the other days, I'll be showing you more so the business side of things 
for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the last EHF check-ins before the final pictures. I am so excited. My December clients have done so, so well, and I'm even more excited to have all of my clients be through the Emily TV app it's starting in January. So thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you after I grind out a few hours of some work. Quick break, rice cake, PB and J. I just love mason jars, they make me happy. I had them all at my wedding actually, like all over my wedding. Anyways, I just finished recording episode one and two of this bikini prep series. If you haven't watched that, definitely go watch those videos. It's now 2 p.m. and the day is flying by, guys. We do not have any time to waste. I've scheduled out every minute of my life, but without fail, something always comes up. Things don't go according to plan, so I plan for things to not go according to plan. That's how much of a crazy control organizer freak that I am. With that said, we're going to take some pre-workout, eat a pre-workout meal, and then hit the gym. We have legs and cardio on the agenda for today. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, it's ehfitness21. When I'm not vlogging, I'm Snapchatting. I try to Instagram story, but I usually forget, to be honest. And I'm going to try and do some Instagram live a little more often. So grind in throughout the day. It's been a beautiful day so far. I'm just happy and blessed and thankful that I'm here. So I hope you guys are taking time to be thankful that you are wherever you are and embrace whatever part of your journey that you're in. I'm excited. I've been thinking about bikini prep and it's at the beginning. So it's, you know, rainbows and butterflies basically. And I like, I'm anticipating the hard weeks that are coming. So I'm taking advantage of every spout of energy and every good cardio session that I have. I always try and remind myself when things are not easy, but at the beginning of prep, when you still have a lot of energy, you still have a really good amount of food intake, I try and almost like push harder and do extra reps for those days that I know at like say two weeks out when my workouts aren't at their peak and I don't have that much energy and I'm not able to push as much and I even though I'm pushing 100% it would probably be my 80% compared to right now so but regardless of the day always give your 100% in whatever moment you're in even if that means it's technically like your 80% overall hopefully that made sense I've said it before but I love you guys I'm gonna hit the gym I will see you guys after I'm not sure if I've been helpful in this video yet and my my whole goal with YouTube and vlogging, I want to be helpful with every video, even if it's something small. So after my workout, cheers. I've been making my delicious protein pancakes again. It's just a serving of crusties with half a scoop of level one ice cream sandwich, which makes it taste like cake batter. So I basically just cook it like crispy on both sides. So you can see both sides are brown and then the middle. Oh my goodness, it's all ooey and gooey. It's delicious. You don't even need syrup. Back from the workout, workout was brutal. An hour and a half leg day followed by 20 minutes of cardio. Now let's see what we have cooking for my post-workout meal. This ladies and gentlemen is my own version of chicken, rice, jalapeno soup. So basically it's just chicken, broth, rice, and jalapenos. <laughs> exactly what I just said. Sometimes I'll add cheese on top, but I don't have the fat macros left to add some cheese, but it's still absolutely delicious. So if you guys want, you can add, where is it? I have this broth. You can add this broth to any chicken meal. So if you're eating like chicken veggies or chicken and rice and veggies, whatever, throw it in broth and then you get to have way more food for the macros that you're eating if you track macros. It's only one carb per cup. So one carb per cup and it makes you full even if you're not tracking and you would just like to have some soup. Good morning guys, time to take my morning supplements, M Factor Goddess, Full Mega, Bliss, and Thyro Drive. Don't worry, full supplement explanation is coming in episode four. In there we have two scoops of lemonade BCAs, so I can basically just drink lemonade all day long. And we shake it. Good job. Uh, thanks. That feeling when you finish your entire gallon for the day. I came over and they were I like. I actually feel so bad that I haven't drank as much water. <laughs> it feels so good drinking my water. But I had to bring my camera. I actually walked over to Amanda and Karen's and I started walking and I literally turned around just to get my camera so I could record this clip. So I can show you guys my beautiful friends, because apparently they don't exist if I don't show you. So here they are. Oh, they're, here. they're real. We're real. You see that? I'm you a see real boy. A girl. You see that? Did you say boy? It's from Pinocchio. Hi. We're hugging. Oh, we exist. Look, they're still friends. friends. They're still friends. Why weren't we together yesterday, Amanda?
Amanda. Oh my gosh, why are you guys never together? Are you guys still friends? <laughs> just asking, I'm just curious. By the way, she got in at like 3 a.m. last night, so. And if we hadn't recorded this, you would recorded this, you would never know this even happened, but it, it did. So we're just letting you know. We're here. Real life. Still friends. Still friends. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a very friendly. <laughs> Sorry. Love you. <laughs> So all jokes aside, yes, Amanda and I are still friends, guys. We still love each other. We just don't always think to Snap or social media every single time that we're together. I wanted to kind of let you guys know really quickly. I told my Snapchat and my Twitter already, but the this past weekend, Christmas weekend, uh, my grandmother's house caught on fire. And she was actually out of the house, thank God, because she moves really slowly. But she was out of the house picking up one of her dogs from the vet. The other dog was inside the house. and. It was a really big house fire. She didn't lose the structure of the house, but everything inside is ruined. And the firemen were able to save the dog that was inside, but by that time that they got there, it already had so much smoke damage. And the next morning after the fire, the dog woke up coughing blood and it was like really bad. And the doctors had to put him down the next day. So she not only lost like everything that was in the house, but she also lost one of her dogs. and. Uh, for anyone that's like a dog person, you can only imagine, you know, that being the cause of that. So my reason for telling you guys this is because I wish that I was financially in a different spot so that I could just say, here you go, grandmother. Like, here is everything you need. <laughs> she lives alone, she's widowed, and she's on a fixed income. So she really needs some help. Um, if anything, she just needs people to kind of share her story and maybe help that way. So I'm using my social media platform to kind of just share it with you guys. She does have a donation link that, that will be the first link in the description box. If you guys would like to donate, even $5 help. If you're not in a position to donate, then I ask maybe you can share my link on Twitter or maybe just tell some people about it or if anything, just say a prayer. I hope you guys know that whether it's a prayer, a $5 donation or sharing the link, every single thing like means so much to me and to my grandmother. Thankfully, she has my dad and my stepmom there who have taken her into them, their home and they're helping her do everything. So my stepmom and her friends went over and they tried to clean up a lot of the stuff because she didn't have insurance. So um, they're kind of having to do everything on their own. Again, just sharing it with you guys because I wish I could do it on my own, but I can't. So I'm just using my platform to help spread the word. So I love your grandmother and I know that you're gonna be okay. And just so you guys know, she's okay. She's like the toughest woman in the world. She can literally handle anything. She'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching episode three. I hope that you got something, anything out of it. I love you guys and I will see you for episode four.